But first, big news or a drop in the bucket? The proposal to bring hundreds of hotel rooms to downtown Sacramento. And that's where we start with a live look at downtown Sacramento this evening. And if you've ever had a guest come into town, you know it can be hard to find a hotel room. Well, according to the latest numbers, Sacramento has just 8,475 hotel rooms. And tonight, there's a new push to bring hundreds of new rooms in a mixed use development. But not everyone is on board. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sharon Rege. And I'm Tony Lopez. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is live for us outside Sacramento City Hall with details on the proposed 15 story high rise. Rachel? This is a really cutting edge design geared towards many millennials. But here's the thing the planning department signed off on it. A labor group says the environmental review on this project is not adequate. And tonight, inside here, city council is going to be deciding whether or not they decide to deny or grant that appeal. Now, this project has been in the works for years. It's kind of interesting. It's actually at the corner of 10th and K Streets. Plans include a 15 story mixed use development with 205 hotel units and 186 residential units. And more than 7,400 square feet of commercial space on the ground floor. Now, again, that design has dorm like communal areas and group apartments. The majority are just 400 square feet. But a labor group is concerned that the review by the Planning and Design Commission was not adequate enough. They want more environmental review. The city planning department says this project was reviewed under the California Environmental Equality Act and qualified for an exemption. That statutory exemption is specific to projects within an infill development area such as our downtown in an area with lots of uh, options for transportation and transit. So if council denies that appeal, the developer can move forward with demolition at that site. If they grant the appeal, that's when the developer will have to foot the bill for even more environmental review. It's expected to be taken up in the first half hour of tonight's council meeting, which starts at five. All right, we'll be following it closely. Rachel Wolf, thank you. And Sacramento's lack of hotel rooms was partly to blame for the Kings losing out on a bid to host the NBA All Star Game. In 2015, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver said the league needed to make sure the city could accommodate all of its guests before it could host a game. The NBA requires cities to have at least 5,500 downtown hotel rooms.